before the fireworks last night, the skies over the Hudson were filled with blimps. Crowds gathered in Hoboken to watch the series Independence Airship Invitational. Three blimps took to the skies for a race from the Statue of Liberty up to Midtown. The winner, the blimp belonging to Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield, that beat out Hangar One Vodka. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but that was a more fun blimp to ride in <laughs> and direct TV. <laughs> well, and a lot of people had fun seeing the blimps, actually. I saw pictures posted all over Facebook, including really? our own Tracy Strahan was watching the blimp race. It was a blistering eight not, miles I was going to say, it's, not, it's like a tortoise race all of a sudden. Okay. Okay. All right. There goes the uh, next starting to hurt. Yeah, that's, all right. Something that moves a little bit faster, planes. And if you're doing a little traveling today. This is Good Day Early Call from the most powerful name in local news, Fox 5 News. Three Zeppelins were part of the Independence Airship Invitational. They took off from Liberty State Park and headed toward the George Washington Bridge, where they parted okay. ways. The race was scheduled for Sunday, but had to be postponed because of rain. Now, the last race of its kind was back in 1986. By the way, the horizontal Blue Cross Blue Shield blimp won the race by beating out DirecTV and the Hangar 1 Vodka Airships. Those things are tricky. If you've ever, you're, you're, Shay Ryan, you ever flown in one of those things? Uh, yeah, I do it all the time on weekends. Uh, <laughs> all right, so we got a Weisenheimer here. Uh, I did it once, and it was yeah. very cool for a story. Yeah. Yeah. They're very hard. They got to turn this big wheel. And it, right. I mean, it doesn't seem like a, an easily navigable aircraft. It's probably not easy to run a race either. Anyway, what's yeah. going on with the weather this morning? You know what? It's it's fantastic. Works had everyone looking up. It was a blimp race. Three Zeppelins were part of the Independence Airship Invitational. They took off from Liberty State Park and headed towards the GW Bridge where they parted ways. My God, the humanities. <laughs> no, everything was fine, folks. This race was scheduled for Sunday, but had to be postponed because of rain. Uh, the last race of its kind was held back in the 86. By the way, the Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield wimp won the race uh, for those of you who keep track of blimp races. Uh, but that's pretty cool stuff, though. And those, those, those things are not easy to drive. Yeah, take they are, my word they're, for fun, it. they're as fun to spot in the sky, even as an adult. Mm -hmm. All right, let's take it over to Inez Rosales. Who's and switching gears here, a rare sight over the Hudson this 4th of July, a blimp race. Take a look. This is beautiful. A Hangar One vodka blimp a Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey blimp and a DirecTV blimp all came together for the Independence Airship Invitational, also known as a race. They met at the Statue of Liberty and raced at speeds of 25 miles per hour, pretty fast for a blimp, to the 59th Street Bridge and back. Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield beat Hangar 1 by three lengths, DirecTV finished last. Oh, but Aww. what a beautiful sight, though. It's great. 25 miles an hour, that's it? Well, <laughs> they're blips. Okay. No, they, they do what they can. All right, he's the Harry Potter star who's... Morning. And the first Independence Airship Invitational in 25 years was held above the Hudson River. Three blimps raced from the Statue of Liberty to Midtown yesterday with blistering speeds of whew, 25 miles an hour. The Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey Blip took an early lead and easily beat its two competitors. Sort of like looking at turtles racing. <laughs> but it is pretty, isn't it? Gorgeous. Still ahead on Eyewitnesses this morning. Search for some... You're watching CBS 2 News this morning in high definition. This is great. We had the blimp races yesterday. Wow. I know it wasn't just the fireworks and the big skies over the big city on the 4th of July. Chopper 2 HD following the three airships taking part in the Independence Airship International. The blimps raced from the Statue of Liberty to the 59th Street Bridge. The blimps hit a breakneck speed of, listen to this, 25 miles an hour wow. in the 12-mile long race. The Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey blimp based in Newark. <laughs> 
came in first. That's just appropriate. The Hangar One Vodka Airship from California came in second, and the Direct TV Blimp, also from California, came in third. The last race of this kind was held back in 1986. So yeah, way to go, Newark, <laughs> winning. That's great. Have you? I, I tell you what. Now I have been in a blimp. It is the most surreal feel that you'll ever feel. There's a there's a certain noise floor because the engines are going, but the way those things move, very graceful, but the mass of them, it's really impressive. So that was fun. 71 is the current reading in the Many companies use blimps to do their advertising, so why not pit three companies against each other in a little race? Blimps from Hangar One Vodka, Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield, and Direct TV. Well, that's a variety there. Race down the Hudson River during the Independence Airship Invitational. This was the last time a race occurred, or the last time a race occurred like this one. It was in 1986. No word on who won the race. I'll have to look that up and bring that to you. All right, it is 5:56. Just when it looked like former. From Fox 5 News, this is Good Day New York. So I was so excited about the fireworks that uh, I totally missed the blimp race. Did you really? Did you know there was a well, blimp race? I didn't know there was a blimp race. I'm always excited just to see a blimp in the sky. It's nope. like, yeah, you no know, kidding. It's fun. In the afternoon, three blimps competed in a race from the Statue of Liberty to Midtown. Now, these things don't go very fast. I'm not sure. I was wondering, how fast do they go? Because they cr seem to crawl in the sky. Like 25 miles per hour. <laughs> so uh, after about five minutes, you might get bored. But anyway, it was the Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield blimp versus yeah. the Direct TV blimp versus the Hangar One Vodka blimp. Looks like no contest, though. Take a look. One of them is way ahead of the pack, and I guess it was the Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield blimp because uh, it won. It took an early lead and uh, never looked back. Congratulations. What do they get? Uh, I don't know. And I think they're gonna, they may do it next year. <laughs> Major bragging rights, Greg. Used to see blimps all the time, or dirigibles, as some say, but uh, ah. not so much anymore. People used to take them to get around. I would, have you, I would love to ride a blimp. Never have. That's not part of the training, huh? <laughs> I guess not. All right, let's go to Duke, Duke Siglione. Duke, a new, uh, new sport emerging. You know, you always know when it's a big sporting event because mm -hmm. the blimp's over. Right. Yeah. And too. they always take a shot. Inside, you know, on the, on the TV remote, they always take a shot uh, on the broadcast inside the blimp. You see the pilot, and then yeah. you look down on the field. Something tells me, though, blimp racing isn't going to catch on. No, no, People no, will not no. have posters of their favorite blimp pilot in their bedroom. Who thought NASCAR was going to catch on? True. <laughs> A rare sight over the Hudson this 4th of July. Maybe you saw this. There was a blimp race going on. A Hangar One Vodka blimp, an Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey blimp, and a Direct TV blimp all came together for the Independence Airship Invitational. They met at the Statue of Liberty and then raced at speeds of 25 miles per hour. It's pretty fast. They went to the 59th Street Bridge and then went back again. Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield beat Hangar One by three lengths. Direct TV finished last.